Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. What is it now? Ah, you've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly, what a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Is that portion what I think it is? Bloody Celibus. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But, I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Oh, would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salavis, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. Father... Rather, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him, to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I can no longer trust him, Father, to think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. <laughs> <laughs> 